created this multi-billion dollar facility under Cheyenne Mountain so that we can use this thing. Anyone know how? Uh, sir, we thought you knew. I do know this. We need to put together a team. Starting with the most beautiful, battle-ready, scientific genius I know. Captain Dr. Samantha Carter. Reporting for duty, sir. What can you tell us, Captain? Well, at first glance, I suspect the device creates a stable wormhole between superconducting rings that have been placed in fixed positions elsewhere. It converts in the matter into energy at the event horizon. Once the initial vortex has subsided, of course. And just because my sex organs are on the inside instead of the outside doesn't mean that I can't handle Provided, it. Provided, of course, that sufficient energy has been channeled to the device and that the correct coordinates have been calculated. Okay, get to it. Next, we need a bookworm adventurer who can say brains and guts in 27 languages. Dr. Daniel Jackson. Why have I been brought here? This is not a... Ooh, what is that? The reason you're here, Doctor. This big ring was discovered in the sands of Egypt near Giza. And I was right. The pyramids really were landing sites for interplanetary starships and enslaved primitive human populations by posing as their gods. Well, we found the ring in the sand. These symbols, they look familiar. They're like constellations, don't you see? Here. If each symbol represents a specific point in space, then six of them would create a sort of box. And the intersection point between those six points would indicate a destination. Maybe, just maybe, the seventh marks the starting point. Is there a monitor that shows these symbols in detail? Over here, Dr. Jackson. Wait, this one seems different. We found the ring in Egypt. The pyramid represents Earth. This symbol has to be the point of origin. It was under our noses the whole time. You feel so stupid. And now what this team needs is a leader, someone who will laugh in the face of his enemy, even when it's inappropriate. Colonel Jack O'Neill. I thought I told you I retired. Oh, I thought you said you were tired. Well, as a matter of fact, I am a little tired. There's no time for that now. You have a mission to lead. Right! Sergeant, make it spin. Spin? S sir, it doesn't spin. What? It has to spin. It's round. But spinning is so much cooler than not spinning. I'm the general. I want it to spin. Now. Yes, sir. Look at that. Chevron 1 is lit up. I wonder what we're gonna find on the other side. Whatever it is, I'll bet it's amazing. Well, don't get too excited. It's just a simple recon. Aren't you the least bit curious about what's out there? Well, I'm just hoping we find some new meat for the team. Preferably something bald, mysterious. You know, the warrior type with lots of, you know, muscles. Sir, the odds against any alien life forms we encounter looking remotely human are astronomical. No, well, we'll see. Chevron 7, also lit up. Home. Colonel O'Neill, you have a go. Godspeed. Easy for him to say. Okay. We're all gonna do this together on three, right? Okay. Okay. One. Two. Three. Dear God in heaven. I feel so stupid. Ha, 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 ha.